Hey guys, I get asked a lot about how I manage my time and balance out being a YouTuber and having a full-time job. I like to dabble in a lot of different projects in general, so in this video I want to show you how I keep track of my coding tasks, architecture and planning, filming and content schedule, business contracts, income, expenses, taxes, random notes and reminders, but also my workouts, articles I want to read, stuff I need to research, and so on. Over the years, I've gone through a number of iterations on my Notion setup to make something that helps me stay organized. When I was just starting out, it was a little bit overwhelming, and some of the tutorials out there make it more complicated than it really needs to be. So I decided to experiment on my own and let my work shape my workspace, not the other way around. My focus was mainly on everyday practicality, and I wanted it to be usable on a smaller screen as well. It was also important to reduce the feeling of overwhelm by the number of tasks I have. And I I also found a few nice widgets to make the workspace more pleasant, but also have some practical use. So I'll share that with you as well. The first thing I want to talk about is the activity and task management. It consists of two pages at the top, focus mode and planner, and they are both powered by one single database called activities. Let's go over the planner first and then we'll cover the focus mode. Here I have my weather forecast widget and I use it a lot when I'm trying to plan out my week and commute since I usually bike to work and I also film a lot outside. I know a lot of people will ask, so let me show you where you can find some of the widgets for Notion and how to set them up. There's a couple of websites that I found and the first one is called Indify. This is where I got the weather widget from and what I like about it is that it automatically handles the light and dark mode. Generally, all widgets are very easy to install. You just copy and paste the link into Notion and select Embed. The other website that I really liked is called Widgetbox and here you can find many colorful widgets to embed in your workspace. I also put links in the description for a few more resources for you to check out. But next to the weather widget, I have my quick notes. Here I write down things like get back to this person on Slack or remember to post an update on the stand-up channel. And we'll come back to this a bit later, but now let me show you the weekly planner. It's a calendar view that shows the different activities I have for each day. And it's very easy to drag and drop things around as the week is progressing. Below the planner is the activities table, and they are both just views on top of the same database, and the way they work is, I have a date field for each activity, and this date indicates when I plan on doing it. It could be different from the deadline, and the calendar view is configured to use the date field. Because of that, when I drag something onto the calendar, the date field gets set automatically. Conversely, the activities table below shows only items that have no date assigned using the filters, and if I drop something into the activities table, then the date gets cleared and it's removed from the calendar. Now the table itself is organized into tabs based on the activity type using filters again and I also have this special priority tab where I have things with an approaching or past deadline. Lastly for each activity I added a checkbox to indicate that it's done and it makes it really easy to check things off right here and that's very satisfying. So that in a nutshell is how I manage my tasks and if you enjoyed that part let me know by liking this video and consider subscribing. But now let's move into some of the details. The next part is all about automating work as much as possible. First, I highly recommend creating templates for activities you do most often. For example, for me, I have coding, design, workout, but I also have expenses and income which are very important for staying on top of my tax returns, filming for YouTube, inbox and task management, and so on. Some of these templates are also recurring. For example, the things I pay on a monthly basis for my business need to be filed in my accounting software. And I also have a recurring daily workout activity that just gets added every day no matter what. Pre-filling the categories and icons like this is a huge time saver. Other than that, for my accounting tasks, I'm also using a formula to format the month in which they are created because accounting is done month by month here and it's very useful to know. On the topic of automations, I want to show you how I organize my bookmarks page. Here I actually started using Notion AI to summarize the articles that I've saved using the Notion web clipper so that I don't really have to read them again to remind myself of the key points. I experimented a few times with the prompt and this is what I ended up using and it's been working quite well. Alright, 
Let me show you the other pages I have in my Notion workspace, starting with focus mode. This is my favorite page and it's meant for getting stuff done. Here I have my quick notes and a list of tasks that are scheduled for the week and no other distractions. This reduces the clutter and allows me to focus better. If something else comes up, typically when I'm on the go, I just write it down in my quick notes. This block is actually synced across the focus mode and the planner page. So later, if it turns out something will take more time or I need to work on something else now, on the planner page, I can drag it down to my activities, categorize it further and schedule it for later. I only recently discovered this workflow with the synced blocks and I'm really liking it. Now when it comes to other pages in my workspace, I have the projects where I keep the resources, links, drawings and notes and I also have my business stuff over here with the contracts and some basic affiliate income tracking and this is more like an archive of important documents but it's also connected with my content schedule for YouTube. So let me show you that as well. So as far as managing my YouTube channel goes, the main thing is the content calendar. I try to post one video per week, but I usually have more videos that are in the idea phase and I just move them along into the future as I go. I created a few tags to differentiate the topics and I also have a relation to the business contracts I mentioned earlier. For example, Notion is the sponsor of today's video, so I have the contract linked right here. And while we're there, make sure to check out the link in the description. Notion is truly the tool I rely on the most every day. Without it, I would really find it hard to keep up with all the tasks I have for my job as well as my side projects. Now when it comes to any particular video, I've developed a nice little trick to help me write the script if it's a long explainer like this one. I actually create a database and I break down my script into sections. Then I have this little formula to get the word count of each section because that helps me stay on track with the video and not wander off into other topics. This is pretty much how I schedule my YouTube videos, so let's move on. Now I want to show you some tricks and little hacks that I found while using Notion. Number one, on the Notion website you can actually find a list of keyboard shortcuts and different commands and I put a link in the description, it's very useful if you use Notion a lot. Number two, going back to quick notes, sometimes when I have a tiny thing that I need to do that doesn't really qualify as a full task, for example when I need to get back to someone on Slack or maybe just bring up a topic on the next standup, I like to put an inline reminder, like this one. Number three, with the add sign, you can also mention other pages pages to reference content that's relevant to whatever you're doing. Number four, you can ask Notion AI to give you an inspiring quote. You can also use Notion AI to help you brainstorm things. For example, this is how I came up with the name for my side project, Firecharts. I selected the elevator pitch, I asked Notion to come up with a name for the product and it gave me these five names. And finally, number five, for my friends out there who like to start the week on Monday, there is actually a setting for that and I was very happy when I found that one. Alright, that's pretty much my entire Notion setup, I didn't really go overboard with it so I'll be continuing my work here and if you'd like more videos like this one, let me know in the comments, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.